Okay, folks, for this screencast, I'm going to do a uh, Python example using something called SciPy. And so I'm going to be using the uh, reference uh, from here. Uh, let's see, docscipy.org, uh, Python minimize. And so basically you want to get SciPy for, uh, for Python first. So for, for Linux, it's super easy. sudo apt get install Python SciPy. Uh, like that. Um, type in my password. Hmm. My computer. My computer is having trouble now. I'm gonna pause this for a sec. Okay. Anyway, so uh, it already says that it's the you know, what is it called? It's the newest version. So I've already installed it. Um, again, if you want to uh, get SciPy for uh, Windows, I'd recommend following uh, this tutorial here um, that I'll I'll post in the link below. Um, so anyway, so basically, I'm just going to kind of go to this and basically say that, you know, a minimization function f of x is subject to uh, inequality constraints and equality constraints. And so uh, I'm going to uh, just open up my, my favorite uh, text editor here and uh, basically start coding this guy. So um, I'm going to do minimize example.py. And so first what you need to do is you need to import the uh, mathematics toolbox. So I'm going to say from uh, scipy. I feel like this font is very, very small. Um, give me one second. Okay, I like this way better. So anyway, so I'm going to import the, uh, the scipy uh, uh, optimize toolbox. So from scipy.optimize import and I could do star here and import literally every single thing that's in this co in, in this toolbox, but that would be absolutely insane. So I'm just going to import the uh, minimize function because I want to minimize. I'm going to go ahead and save this to the desktop, um, call this minimize uh, example.py. Uh, go ahead and save that. And then, uh, again, since I'm running my stuff from Linux, I'm going to do a, a shebang here at the top and tell the computer that when I execute this program, I want you to use uh, user bin Python. Um, and so I'm going to use what's called a, a Lambda to uh, create my uh, objective function. So normally you could, do, you could do something like this. You could do objective function and just say... Um, you know, define a function and call it, you know, objective function of x, and then put in here what the function is. So in this case, it's uh, x of the the first element of x. x is a vector, minus one squared, and squared in Python is a uh, is a uh, two two characters. And I'm going to just return this. This is the only thing that I'm going to do in this code. And then the second element of the vector, minus two point five uh, squared. And again, remember Python uses um, it uses uh, zero as the first element of a vector. Um, instead, I'm actually going to make uh, my objective fun. So I'm going to comment this out. You, well, I'll, I'll leave it there so you can see the difference. So instead, I'm going to make what's called the lambda function, which allows you to create functions on the fly. So the uh, input argument is x, and then basically all I have to do is just uh, copy this. So what it allows you to do is just it makes it, it allows you to make a function without having to actually declare. Um, a, a method above. Um, so then I'm going to put in uh, constraints here. So I'm going to say that my constraints are um, in a in a list. So when I do when you do parentheses in um, in Python, it makes I think what's called a tuple. Um, somebody can fact check me on that. But then basically I'm going to make a, uh, a dictionary in here, and so the the type is going to be uh, an inequality constraint. Um, and then the fun, or essentially the uh, objective function, is going to be another lambda function, which takes argument x, and it's uh, x0 minus 2 times x1 plus 2. And that's just the first constraint. Um, then I'm going to say, okay, I got another one, and the type is an inequality constraint. The uh, object, uh, objective function, or not really the objective function, sorry, the inequality constraint is negative x0 minus 2 times x1 plus 6. And then finally, I'm going to have another one. And inequality, the fun, uh, is uh, 
negative x of 0 plus 2 times x of 1 plus 2. And again, I'm getting this example from uh, the internet. Uh, again, it's from uh, this scipy.optimize um, thing here. So if I go into the desktop and I do a, uh, what am I doing here? chmod 777 minimize example, and I run minimize example, I hopefully won't get any errors. It's uh, probably going to have to import all that. Yeah, and it, doesn't, it didn't actually output anything because I didn't do anything. Um, if I do type in print constraints like this and run that, it'll print out all of the different constraints. If I do constraints of zero, it should just print out the uh, first constraint. Um, I th I fr let me look up how to do this. Okay, so the constraints is the variable. Zero tells the computer to grab the first element in this uh, list here and then this list here contains what are called dictionaries and so if you notice this colon here basically these are sort of the uh, the headers and so if I say constraint zero type what is it it's gonna return and you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run it here it's gonna return that it's actually an inequality constraint if I go back and say okay don't give me the type give me the fun it should return now the function lambda, and it won't actually tell me what's in there, but that just gives you a, a, a quick, uh, you know, example of uh, constraints. Uh, sorry, of dictionaries. Okay, so I'm going to bound the function too. So I'm going to say bounds is, and I, this is a, a double list. So the the first argument goes from zero to infinity. So essentially, it doesn't have a uh, upper limit, and then the same thing for the second argument. Um, Everything in uh, Python is separated by commas when you have a list. Um, so it's not like MATLAB where you can do a space or anything like that. You have to do it uh, like this. Um, finally, you just uh, run the uh, minimization uh, routine. Minimize the function. And so I'm going to say the result is equal to... So here's the minimize function. And remember that I imported this on this line of code here. And I'm going to say, okay, the objective function is fun, which I uh, defined up here. And then I'm going to say that my initial guess is 2 comma 0. I'm actually going to tell it the method to use, slsqp, which is the uh, sequential least programming, least squares programming method. I'm going to give it the bounds equal to that bounds variable, the constraints equal to the constraints variable, and then I'm going to present pr uh, print the result. And so when I run this, it's going to give me a bunch of stuff. Status true, success, or sorry, status zero, so it's not running. Success is true. Um, I, these numbers, I think, mean like number of iterations. This is the value of the objective function at the value that is minimized. And then this is actually the solution here. Uh, the, the, the function terminated successfully. Here's the Jacobian uh, array, and it looks like this is the number of iterations. Uh, it looks like this is the number of function evaluations, and this is the number of Jacobian evaluations. Um, what I actually want is res.x. This is a structure. Um, um, I, I actually wonder if it is a, a dictionary. I'd be curious. Oh, it actually is. So you can do res.x like that, and it'll just give you uh, res.x, or you can do uh, res.x or, or, or bracket x like that to give you the uh, solution. So then you can say things like uh, solution equals uh, like that, and it'll uh, do it that way. Um, so again, remember how I was saying up here that you could actually define that objective function with a method. So if I type in obj fun, uh, it'll still give me exactly what I wanted. All right, uh, hopefully this was helpful, and uh, good luck.